so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem all unique permutations of an array so it's a medium level problem and let's read the problem statement first so we are given an array of length n find all possible unique permutations of the array in sorted order we want to generate all the possible permutations of the array but that possible permutation should also be in a sorted order okay as you can see here our array is 1 to 1 so all the permutations for that is going to be 1 1 2 1 2 1 and 2 1 1 and if you observe the output also these three permutations are sorted okay so that is what is written in the next line here so we will see how can we solve this problem and the expected time in space complexity for this problem is n into n factorial so let's understand this problem in more detail so our array is one to one now in order to generate all the possible permutations of the array the first step is to sort the array so one one two is our sorted array now what we will do there are two methods in order to solve this problem the first is using inbuilt method in c plus plus stm which is nothing but next underscore permutation so what it does it accepts two parameters basically array dot begin and array dot end basically the two starting and the end pointers for which you want to sort that thing so we want our whole array to be permuted right so we will be passing array dot begin and array dot end now what it will do it will generate the next permutation and you can use this condition inside a while statement while next underscore permutation of array dot begin and array dot end means till we have permutations for this given array we will be doing next underscore permutation and it will give you a permutated array and you can store that into a set because you need only the unique arrays right unique permutations so you can store that into the set and you can return from while loop okay so i hope you have understood this now before doing this you should store your sorted array into your set why because at this step your array will be permutated so keep, like keep in mind that we need to insert that array first after that only we will be executing this while loop so that is going to be the first method now the second approach can be first of all you will sort the array because you need all the permutations of the array you may have seen that problem generate next permutation for a given array so what is the step involved there basically you check what is the number or what is the smallest number which is available and which is smaller than the last digit so here we can see that in 112 1 is going to be the number which is smaller than 2 okay so you find the nearest element first which is smaller than this element so here 1 is the smallest element now in the second step you swap these two so 1 to 1 is swapped right so first step is to find the number which is smallest than this right and which is nearest to it okay then only we can generate the next permutation now replace both the numbers and sort the array from this position to this position in a reverse order okay so if you sort also it will be nothing but one to one only right so the next permutation of one one two will be nothing but one to one right now again what you need to do you need to again find the the next permutation for this so here the next element which is smaller than 2 is nothing but 1 and you again reverse that or basically change the elements at those two indices and you again sort this part into reverse order you can try this on other set of examples as well let's say 1 2 3 4 5 the next permutation for this is going to be 1 2 3 5 4 
So again find a number which is smaller than this. As soon as you find a number you break out of that loop. You basically swap those numbers and reverse this part into a reverse sorted order. So I hope you have understood the problem and you need to do this step till our array is reverse sorted because anything will not be greater than this right so you may have seen like for this problem as well one to one our last array which was generated we started from one one two we went to one two one and again two one one so the last element is going to be or the last array which is going to be nothing but the array which is reverse sorted so you need to do this step till this point okay so in this way also you can generate all the permutations just store them in a set because you need the unique permutations and you can easily solve this problem so i hope you have understood the problems let's see the implementation so i have taken a answer vector which is a vector of vector of end we will be first sorting the array now we will be taking a set because we need the unique elements now we will be storing the or inserting the array into the set and we will be iterating till the next permutation of this array is there and we will be inserting this into our set and now we can iterate on the set and simply take that vector up and push that into our answer and we can finally simply return our answer now this method takes order of n factorial time okay so that will be n factorial and since the array is having a length of n that will be n into n factorial so i hope you have known the time complexity and the space complexity is also going to be n into n factorial because you are storing all the array which are generated that is nothing but n into n factorial so again the time and space complexity is going to be n into n factorial for this problem and i hope you have understood the problem if you want the implementations for the second method as well do write it down in the comments if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys let's meet in another problem of the day video